process of decommissioning Discovery, so we're getting it ready to be displayed. And part of doing that means we have to go in and save those major systems that have hazards to them. Big components that we've removed so far, the engines always come out, so engines are out already. But then we've also removed the forward reaction control system, which you can see the big gaping hole at the nose, and then the ohms pods, which are in the aft of the vehicle. You can see the flat um, mounting areas for those ohms pods. Normally there's the, the curvature area there. Those components have been sent down to our hypergolic maintenance facility for initial safing and then moved on to the White Sands Test Facility in New Mexico where they're being fully decommissioned. And what's that, what that means is we're taking all those hazards out. There's hypergols associated, so we're pulling out lines, pulling out tanks, soft goods, gaskets, those kind of things, so that when we bring those modules back and reinstall them on Discovery, it'll be safe for the general public to be up close and near the orbiter. I, I don't like to see her out in public without being fully put together, um, but you know this is something we have to do. We need to make room for Atlantis to land. That's the whole reason we're doing this is we need to open up an orbital processing facility because as soon as Atlantis lands, we need to get her into the hangar as soon as possible because there's initial safety that has to happen there. So in order to do that, we'll move Discovery out of the way. She'll park over in the vehicle assembly building for about a month. Uh, we'll take care of the work on Atlantis. We'll also continue to work on Endeavor, and eventually we'll flip-flop Endeavor and Discovery because Discovery is going to be the first vehicle to leave out of here. Um, so we want to get focused back on Discovery just as soon as we can. While we're in the vehicle assembly building, we will sit, wait on wheels. We will not even open up the crew hatch. We will provide purge. We have three circuit purge to ensure that the avionics boxes do not have any humidity or anything that could degrade the electronics. So we'll keep the purge going, but we do not plan to do any type of work while in the vehicle assembly building. Things have gone very smoothly. Actually, I've been surprised that we haven't hit more snags along the way. It's gone very well. Uh, I think it's the nature of the work in the sense that when we're preparing for flight, you know, we're testing things to make sure they work properly and there's always challenges there. Well, now we're not really testing anything, we're just deservicing, and that's pretty standard work. And so, so far, no big surprises at all.